Hundreds of Democratic Party officials from all over the country have converged on St. Louis for the annual DNC fall meetings. Party leaders are organizing their campaigns and testing their messages ahead of the upcoming election year. Our political editor Mark Maxwell was there and has more on the direction of the Democratic Party. Mark. Good evening, and if this is an idea incubator where party leaders concoct campaign concepts, then consider the White House the control center where the president shifted the party platform in real time today. While Democrats inside the hotel convention center declared their unwavering support for Biden's reelection bid, at the same time, the president was changing his stance on immigration, giving orders to start constructing border walls along the southern border with Mexico. This move comes just days after Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker called on Biden and the federal government uh, calling them out for inaction on immigration. But it also comes after Biden himself previously promised that he wouldn't do this, saying a border wall was ineffective. It appears the president may be shifting the Democratic Party closer to Donald Trump's position on immigration. In a post online, the former president asked when would Biden apologize to him in America for taking so long. The Democratic Party has always, uh, as part of our core values, cared about the marginalized, the least of these. We don't need to, to alter that at all. I mean, even President Clinton just recently said that that's one of the issues. A former President Clinton just said that immigration is an issue. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crisis in this country. That's Reverend Daryl Gray, active in St. Louis Democratic circles. He also criticized St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones for putting up a barricade to keep homeless tent camps off the city hall lawn while the DNC comes to town here. Tonight at 6, DNC Chairman Jamie Harrison reacts to Bernie Sanders' warnings that perhaps Donald Trump is winning working class voters over. Live in downtown St. Louis, Mark Maxwell, 5 on your side.